Hey y'all, we're embarking on a little adventure here doing some volunteer work for the Commonwealth Coaching Trolley. We gotta move this trailer um, across town and I figured we'd live stream about it. Here we go. Ugh. Climb up in the truck and Lawrence is gonna run the live stream, so. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, Lawrence is here too. You just tell me where to go and I'll go. Oh, you know the old Evans paint building? Just tell me the most truck friendly way to get. <laughs> what it's right in the city. Uh, is getting turned around. <laughs> I left that in because keep trailer in, break Sarah. We're in Roanoke, Virginia at the Transportation Museum, moving some of the bus barn stuff uh, over to, uh, don't forget your seatbelt. Told you. Moving, uh, some uh, bus bar and stuff over to the new location. You do? Hang on, got just mirrors here. There's the buses. Let's see, you need this come in or out? Yeah, come in. Come in. Let's see. Out just a little right there. That's perfect. Yep, there's looking at out the mirror here. Yep, take a left. Yeah, yeah, see, he's driving. I'm letting him drive this one because it's super heavy. Uh, we're not exactly legal weight limit here, and he's got way more experience than me, so I'll let him drive it. See if we can get this little deal. All right, you're clear my way. Still clear. Slipping a little bit. Yeah, Where am I going to make my right? Right here. You need to use short driving if you were. Yep, yeah, this is the trailer. Belongs to the bus barn now. We're using the bus barn truck. Let's see here. Now I gotta wait, make it right on red. Just so y'all get a feel of how this thing is. When we turn here, I'll actually show you the back of the trailer. You can actually see it back there as we swing around the curve. So. A Ford Raptor, those are cool trucks. They have power, yeah. Hey, Montgomery. Nine speed. Oh, nine speed. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I tried to do that too because I got used to a 10 speed. Yes, the uh, wiper right here is falling apart. I'll have to get new wipers. Gotta go by Bazi Z9 Productions. Hey. Woo. Somebody asked, how is engineer's training going? Oh, great. I drive the truck again. When I get my... I'll drive a... Cool, a freight liner Cascadia. They're good trucks. I turn the mirror going straight. Um... I don't want to take this thing down that steep hill. Yeah, so I guess take a left here. You should... Yeah. Wait, uh, turn the best way to do that. I take a left and take a right, and then we got to take another left on 13th Street. All right. Roanoke is not very, uh... Oh, you're telling a trailer. Right. I'm doing great, William. Uh, Brendan Hasty says, uh, hello, Andrew. Hey. Yeah. This is what... Well, can't really see it with the turn. I guess I can show y'all in the mirror. But, yeah. All right, here we go, making a turn. Have you heard of a Kenworth T680? Yes, I have. Those are supposed to be top of the line trucks. Are you guys in Rhino? Oh, 
Oh, okay, I'm in Roanoke. Oh. Andrew's taking the truck to the uh, new bus barn site, and he gets to, uh, gets to, I've yeah, we gotta make this truck. I've than this with a full sleeper truck <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he's taking it to a new site for us. We get to see his backing in skills, because where we gotta well, go. We're doing volunteer work for Commonwealth Coach. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. It's volunteer work. Yep. Oh, we're back, okay, sorry about that. Buffering too. Sorry about that. Some accident we got hit. Yeah, our lovely little town. Left the light. Yeah, left at the light. I am on 581 in traffic. Oh, I am so sorry, Tyler. Or sorry, Tyler. Hey, Pat. Cool. And we're going to turn right by Taco. We've got to have that place. Yeah, but we're going to have to let that little undercover cop go right there. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's an undercover cop in Red Oak City. <laughs> That's an okay. Yeah. This truck drives great fully loaded. Yeah, it does. But Bob telling it sucks. Yeah. No vaping in the truck. That's true, of all, that's true of all trucks. Yeah. But I'll make an exception. He's helping us out. All right, here we go. Yeah, look, I can actually look out the back window of this and actually you can see the door. <laughs> what type of truck is it? It's a 1990 white GMC Volvo. Bus bar in place. Somebody told you you're awesome. You're the awesome I can go. Have you driven a new fire bus? Andrew has when our new fire was working. Alright. Coming uh turn right by the taco. Yeah, turn by the taco place. Should you should park the truck in the market garage. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We're we're a little tall. Yeah, at the Taco Arojas, turn right. Yeah. Yeah, gonna have to do the un, un uh, desirable turn. I don't know if that truck will fit. Yeah, it won't fit. Uh, where do I go then? Yeah, come on in. No, you'll fit, you'll fit. Uh, yeah, you'll fit. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, yeah, you will get lower gear. I just told you to get a fire. Sorry, I was reading the messages. Yeah, I got it. I got the story. Yeah. See uh, this? No, you're not. That's yeah, how that skills. Right yeah. I told you I used to drive these. Yep. That's why I let you drive it. Survey where we get out of the truck and survey where we take it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can put a trailer anywhere almost. It's not the first entrance, it's the second entrance. Honk the horn. You can reach up and do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and hit it. I've got to get some new wipers on this truck. So the second entrance? Yeah, not this one. We gotta go between these cars and we may have some trouble down here. See, they parked the. Yeah, this is not really appropriate what they're doing for all these damn cars. I'm having to get out here and put some of these damn cars in the back there. Yeah, well. You're gonna have to wait in the car, I'm bigger than you. Yeah, come on through. You got room. See how close it works. Yeah. I may be able to get in their asses. That's a pretty big driveway. Yeah, well, you gotta back it in. We're gonna show you where you gotta back it. Because we gotta go right in there and off to the left. Over there by that Mitsubishi Fuso? Uh, well, that's new. Um, I hope, well, yeah. Come on. Yeah. We are allowed to park here, right? For, yeah, if you hit your head. 
Yeah, I'm just going to back up so I'm going to block that driveway. Where's the worst of this thing? Uh, it's down and to the, uh, down and up. Okay. Sorry, over and up. Okay, yeah, now we're back. Get Don't crash the truck, Andrew. How many years have you been driving a truck? I drove a truck for three, uh, about three or four years. Yeah. Alright, that's good. <laughs> Wait, I would go forward because there is a car behind me. I know. Or not. Go in there and take a look. Hey, he left me in a nice puddle of water I got to jump over. You can come out this side if you need. Uh, I'll come out this side. No big deal. Oh, man. Turn the wipers off. Yep, they're off. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, yesterday, uh, moving another, moving another trailer, I had a, I had that one blow out, and I had, yeah, cut the headlights, and I had this one blow out, so I got two new front steer tires, uh, nice bridge stones. Watch your speed. <laughs> yeah, really, it's so heavy. Maybe Bob telling. Alright, let's go back here and see what we got going on. I mean, I can get it in here. Do you a vaporing? Oh. I can get it in here. I can get through that cage, no problem. Alright. It's just that truck there. Did I bring my green clipboard? I hope I did, because I have the key on it. Yeah, that truck's new, and those little rides are new. Those weren't there yesterday. This is our new facility. I can probably squeeze so. if I'm having those. Those are just weeds there, right? Yeah. Does it take our key? Uh, yeah, it takes our key. Oh, I forgot you haggy. Sweet. I forgot to give him a key. Oh, cool. They have a best watch here. Uh, no. Oh, Look at oh that. yeah. All right. Before we can back in here, you see these little white things right here? What were those rides? The ride carts. What about them? We need to move those because the trailer's going right here. Right where? Right here. I mean, I mean, like, like, uh. I'll show you. Just go ahead and unlock it. I'm trying to, but there's. It's unlocked. It's chain. Oh, chain. Hooked on the chain. Who owns the bus bar? Barn. Uh, Commonwealth Coach and Trolley Museum. I guess we all own it. We're all volunteers. Um, who did this? The guy, I guess, who helped me out yesterday with the flat tires. Hold on. Let's see. This chain is all bound up. Hang on. Yeah, give me some slides. Yeah. There we go. There. Sorry. Try and push Watch cash cab. It's also acting up. Yeah, typical at the bus bar and everything acts up. We're gonna have a problem just getting this. What well, happened to the 1987 Chevy Celebrity? Somebody asked. Oh, that's locked on. Let me see if this will come off now. Almost. Ugh. The other lock is the problem. There we go. Yeah, I see that. You can take your key out of it so you oh. don't clean your keys. <laughs> Hang on, let me grab his keys. Oh. Ah. Watch deal or no deal. Who jammed the fence? Oh, who jammed the fence? Uh, one of the people who owned the building. We may not be getting in here. And that would really suck right now because... Who has the key to this other lock? Uh, William does. Hang on, let me see if I can fool with it. Hold yeah, I'll this. let you see if you can get it open. Here, I'll push on the gate. Watch your hand. Yeah, go ahead, boy. If you can get it off, more power to you. Huh. Crap. Wow. Sometimes it just takes a little touch. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what we got. Oh, if the trailer's just going right here, that won't be a big deal. I can jackknife it in there. I'll probably have the trailer right here. Well, I, here's the payment. We got to put it where the owner wants it. Where does he want it? You see where this grass line is? Yeah, that's where he wants it backed up to. Yeah. I can get Yeah, that's easy. I can do that. I don't know where that feeds those from. I can get it here. That's no problem. All right. Well. I'll just have to wiggle it a little bit. But I mean, like I said, those, those ride things aren't in the way. Uh -huh. I'm going to jackknife it in. All right. Well, 
Let me hold the camera. We'll watch Andrew get the truck. I guess I'll do the spotting. Uh, sorry, the comments are not coming up as frequent. If I haven't answered a question, I apologize. I got plenty of room to walk in here. Those are, let's see, where are you parking the trailer? Oh, we're parking the trailer right here beside the building up to that grass line right there. Obviously, I want, it's going to be a couple feet from the building. Well, the closer, he said, the closer we could get it, the better. Okay, I can just wait on it. Yeah. So, oh. Any train enthusiasts in the group? I think I hear a train coming. Drive a bus. Maybe we'll do that a little bit later. Thanks for telling me, Lawrence. Oh, okay. He. Is jackknifing legal? It is as long as you don't tear anything up. Oh, wait. If y'all can look way down here, I'll see if I can zoom. There's Norfolk Southern, Union Pacific, and BNSF unit. Wow. Yes, they always use dynamic brake going through here because they're going into yard limits. So, anyway, back out here. All right, here we go. Let's see what Andrew can do. Uh, yep, it's Norfolk Southern, but has multiple trains on it. Kind of interesting. Here we go. Hopefully this car right here ain't going to pose a problem. Let's see, all right, he's coming back. Out here in the middle of the road. Come on back. Yes, the train's just right over there, but it's hard to see with all the trees and it's in full dynamic. Market wasn't modded. Mm, no, I don't think it was. Hang on, he's trying to keep it. All right, come on. Oh, don't get out there. It's coming, it's coming. Just kidding. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna have to go up and get a little closer to that car right here. There's a squeaky wheel over there. Uh, sorry, I'm like squirrel. <laughs> That's risky. Eh, not too much. I'm spotting him, so I ain't gonna let him hit nothing. And he's looking out the window. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it this time. There we go. Come on back with it. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Come on back with it. You get, he's got a lot of room. Coming on back with it. It stayed over. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to look at the comments and watch him at the same time. Make sure he doesn't hit. Come on back with it. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Yeah, there's a pile of mess right here that may mess us up. Uh, hang on, he's got to get reset up. Woohoo! That trailer tipped. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! Man. Are you going to try this again? To be fair, this is a very tight situation. Um, I mean, because we got this building, we got that gate right there, and that fence. We're trying to get down this little hole. I took a trailer out of here yesterday, but it was only a 48 foot. Well, actually, probably not even 48 foot. He's got 53. He's a lot bigger than me. Semi trucks have tipped over. Yes, they have. And it is not fun. That would be a question for Andrew. Um, 
Oh man, he's over in that grass. Hang on. Hang on, Andrew. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, but you got a drain right here. Well, you're on it. All right, come on back. Just be careful. Don't blow a tire. All right, replace one. Come on back. Right there is the problem. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're slipping. You're slipping. Straighten your wheel up. All right, try coming back uh, one more. That way, turn your wheel that way. No, the other way, other way. Now try coming back. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Turn the wheel. Yeah, but you're in a rut. Well, I was gonna say if you, all right, I'll let you do it, come on. All right, come on, bud. All right, we're getting in here this time. Oh yeah. I was worried that tire was going to pop, but he didn't pop it. Who does to him? He's more gutsy than me. The weight's on that aspect. Of course, all the weight's probably on the back of the truck, so that helps. Come on back with it. You got all the room in the world. Yes, we tore up a little bit of grass, but oh well. Better tear up a little bit of grass than a car. Tires are a problem. Yes, I know. All right. Come on. All right. Here we go. All right. Pretty work. Pretty work. Pretty work. He's, got, he's jacking it over. All right. Now, if I have to yell, I don't mean to scare nobody on the live chat. It's just making Andrew stop. And it is raining. It sucks being out in the rain. His turn signal on the right is not working. Uh, you're correct because he's got his hazards on. Not sure what's going on there. Oh yeah, come on back, Andrew. You got it. You got it. Come on back. Come on back with it. Come on back. Hi. Hi, Jared. All right, now he needs to pull up and straighten up because now he's going to hit the building. There we go. He's getting there. He's getting there. All right. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. You can come on back. Come on back. Sorry, I got to get in his line of sight. Come on back with it. Pretty work. Come on back with it. Come on back with it. Come on back. Come on. Come on back with it. I'm going to back, back him up as far as I can to this Fuso truck. Come on back. Or, sorry, old Mishibishi truck right here. Don't let... Oh, careful with the grass. Yeah, we ain't worried about it. That's supposed to be weed-eated. So that saved me a bunch of weed-eating work just running over it. He's slipping a little bit. Hey, turn your differential on. You're slipping. Where is Diesel Deucey? He is here in Roanoke backing this truck up. All right, that's good. Now we're going forward. Stop the, the truck, please. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on up with it, come on up. All right. We gotta bring it up some more. Dude, that was like skill right there, man. I gotta give you credits on that one. That was skill. I was worried about those tires. Like I said, I've gotten in a lot tighter places than this, and you gotta do what you gotta do to get it in. If that car went in the way, I think got it in the first shot. Well, I was just worried to have another steer tire blow out. <laughs> We will? All right, that's no big deal. So what are the people saying about me getting this thing in here? Oh, they're saying a lot. Say hi to me, that. Andrew and Lawrence. Oh, hey. All we got to do is just... I think those carts will roll. Yeah. We can just roll them to this side. 
Yeah. Hang on. We may have to set this somewhere so I can help Andrew. I don't know how well he's got. Yeah. This is from a fair called the Peanut. Uh, I guess they put you in this cage and put you upside down and all crazy stuff. Oh, here goes Andrew. Got the first one rolled over. Whoa, easy, easy. All right, I mean, if you can shove it in the corner, it should be all right. I live in Norway. Cool, we got somebody from Norway here. We're going, you're going to have to tip it on its side. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Uh, hold your camera a minute. Oh, wait, hold your camera. Some old amusement ride, yeah. I just drove this down here. We're putting this trailer right here. If all I gotta do is pull it up about five or six feet, I can detach. Hey, Jared, how you doing? Yeah, I can detach. That's fine right there. So let me uh, just spot me on the rear. All right, spotting you on the rear. Gotcha. Now comes the fun part. Basically, this is the way of being a truck driver helper works. Basically, I'm a conductor, he's the engineer. I just spot him, tell him where to stop. Come on, keep going. There you go. Keep going. We gotta look at the edge. Whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, hey, stop. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. There we go. What was that big noise? Huh? What was that big noise? Brakes probably air, who knows? I can get out of this. I'll just put it hard to the right. We're gonna have to crank this down really tight because I'm gonna be leaving it at an angle. Well, here, here's the thing. Let's see if we can find some blocks to throw under it. Yeah, that would be a good idea. So we don't. I'll be able to get out from under this. Oh. No problem. I hate that it's raining. I wish this rain would stop. Let's see. Really All right. Let me see if I can find some wood here. Uh, that's metal beams. Yeah, you got it in there nice and square too. I'm I'm shocked. Ain't my first rodeo. Yeah, I know. Maybe a little bit rusty. I haven't done this in a few years, but it's kind of like riding a bicycle, driving a truck, you never forget. Yeah. It's actually kind of fun. I'm glad I was able to do this for y'all. Actually, it, there's no way to get any closer to the building, is there? Uh, not really. Because we got... Not without, I mean, I just don't have a lot of wiggle room. It's pretty darn close. They, you want some walking space over there. Well, but he also wants to be able to get this truck right here out. We'll be able to get that truck out. Oh, okay. As long as it'll be a good truck out, it's all okay. Let me see. Hell yeah, he can get that truck out. Look how wide that gap is. Okay. Look how wide that gap is. I was going to say, if you could just get the butt over a little bit. But that'll work. That'll work. I mean, the butt, a little wired in the front, but. No, it's the same way. Oh, is it? If they need to move it, we can move it. Oh, yeah, nice okay. All right, yep, that works. Donald Trump, oh, oh Lord. Guys, come on. Yeah, it has an air dump. Yeah. It has an air dump. Don't talk about politics. That's probably a good idea. Oh, there goes the airbags going. Don't let me forget to put the kingpin lock in. Let's see here. All right. I'm just going to crank this machine. More. Huh? The pin, the pin I don't know. I'm going to take the handle off so people can't get oh, it's fucked. Released. Let me dump the bags. All right, dump the bags. Here we go. 
We aren't moving this together. That's how you drop a trailer. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's watch them get out from under it. At least I left him enough room because the trailer I had to get yesterday with this truck was a lot further up and I had to come in basically at a 45 degree angle and hook to it. Is he unhooked? Yep, there it is. All right, you're hooked, unhooked, go on. It ain't gonna drop too far. I was gonna say, just crank it on down some more. Okay. Cool. Go get out from under it. Can you come to Norway and things? Oh, okay. Here he goes. All right, here we go. Easy, easy, easy. All right, there you go. Good job. All right, you're up. All right, you're gonna have to back up a hair. Or not. Or, yeah, okay, he is. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He got room. He got room. So, a couple things I got to do to secure this trailer. Hey. Uh, yeah. So, a couple things I got to do to secure this trailer here. Um, one is take this nice little handle off and store it in the back of the trailer. Yep. Uh, can you bring the king pig? Uh, well. It's in the floorboard of the trailer, but here, come grab the phone so I can take off this uh, crank this handle. Up, we did it. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. It's in here. Yep, we did it. We got the trailer down here. They want to see the inside. Are we going to open it up? Yeah, y'all yeah, can see what's inside the trailer. Hell yeah, he'll be able to get that Fuso out. Does it look level? It's level. It's as level as it can be. This ground's a little bit off, but it's level. Let me look. Yeah, it's level. I wouldn't mess with that landing gear with all that weight on it. Yeah, you're, I mean, like I said, it's it's set. It ain't going nowhere. But we don't want to mess with that landing gear. I can tell there's a buttload of weight on this trailer. Yeah, we're over gross. Yeah, y'all can see in the trailer here in a minute. Yeah, this is an old rider trailer. Someone said it's the next rider trailer. Next rider. Oh, I like the LED lights you put in there, Lawrence. Huh? I like the LED lights. Thank you. I need to inflate the airbags again. Remember when we drove with the airbags deflated and the transmission started grinding? Yeah. Let me reinflate the airbags. There we go. All right, here's the keys. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is inside the truck, y'all. So yeah, this is what we just moved. I'm glad we got this down here. Well, I got it squared up with the building. I'm not trying to brag, but I think I got pretty skills, pretty good skills at this. If that car wasn't there, I could have got the first shot. <laughs> and I wouldn't have had to go up in the grass like that. that uh, car presented a bit of a problem. That's the, I'll tell you, the only accident I ever had when driving at Schneider was at a dock similar to this. So, I left a rut in somebody's grass and they called Schneider. Oh well. So this right here is what you got to have to get the landing gear up or down. So we're storing it inside the trailer. Uh, that way nobody can hook the trailer take off. Me. All right, guys, y'all are going to get to see our salvaged engines and stuff. Maybe. When you open the trailer, yeah. stand back. I mean, yeah, I in case anything shifted, I just open the door and just throw it up. Here, let me do it. Is it latched? Shoot. It's unlatched. All right. How do you open it? Yeah, push up. Oh, what's it hung up on? Something. It's something got hung. Uh, yeah, something's hung. Oh, we got that in there. See if you can leverage it up. Well, nothing's leaning on the door. That's a good sign. There we go. 
We don't want to open it all the way. All the way, no. There, that's enough, that's enough. All right, yeah, it's old bus barn stuff we have in this trailer. Yeah, got some 871, Where's the fifth wheel lock? Uh, in the truck. Oh, oh, you're putting that. Oh, that's the, you're just putting that in there. No, I'm putting this in here. Okay, so we're going to close it up. Yeah, so that we don't... Yeah, okay. some of our, like, these engines are out of some of the burn buses. Some of them are, they're salvageable. Yeah. They are salvageable, but and they're going to need, they're going to have to be rebuilt, though. Pretty much. Um, All right, let's lock this gate. All right. Well, I got this side. It went down a lot easier than it went up. I know. At least we know the stuff didn't shift. Yeah, that's... That takes real skill right there. Yeah, yeah the load, you, you did a day, we, we, you and me and Nick loaded this thing. I know, we overloaded it, but we loaded it. Well, it's me. Three locking through discs. This is a master lock. It's a discus. Discus, and the reason I got the discus. You can't cut them. Yeah, but virtually impossible to cut. Because if it's, you can't get to it because of the yeah. holes right there. All right, let's get the kingpin lock and lock it. Well, I told you this, 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 this. It's here now. It's yeah. here. Let's get the kingpin lock, and then we'll get out of here. Well, we ain't done yet. We got more. We got more exciting stuff to do. What do, do, what do we gotta do here? We gotta go move from, other from where? From over there. Where is it going? Over here. Where? Uh, somewhere. There ain't nowhere else to put it without blocking everything in. Oh, so this one's not as important as where it's put, right? Yeah. What size is it? Uh, what size is the... Foot, maybe? Oh, so it's a lot smaller. Yeah, it's just a pair of Okay, well, I can just, I'll just back it in here. Yeah. I'll just back it in. We'll blow the horn in a minute. We're trying to get the kingpin lock on this thing so no one steals it. Yeah. I'm glad I could... I had to break into the fuel tank earlier. Um... I took a big flathead screwdriver and broke the lock. So, huh. get, put fuel in it because I was really wanting fuel and I was worried about it running out. Alright, this guy is a kingpin lock. He put that on the trailer and no one can back into it yeah. and couple to it. We'll, we'll, we'll show you how it works here. And for you truck drivers, y'all know what this is. Yeah, all truck drivers know what a kingpin lock is. Let's see here. I know which key it is. <sighs> You know so, what they say about people who carry a lot of keys? What? They have a lot of problems. Yeah. Or they have a very complicated life. One key here. Hope y'all are enjoying this. We're out here in the rain. My phone is getting wet. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm soaking wet. This trailer's not in that bad a condition. Nope. I mean, granted, it's probably not roadworthy for over-the-road everyday use. So basically, found the key for it, and the way it locks on, yeah, the kingpin. You open it up, you twist it, and you have this little pin in here. But this up. is actually a rather low security kingpin lock. Yeah, this just keep the honest man honest. All right, slap it uh, on there. Coming under here, go up like this. Just slap over it on. The kingpin. We'll turn the lock. Yep, there we go. Now no one can couple. And nobody can couple to it. All right, let's go get the other trailer. Yep, we'll go get the other truck. Alright, here's the, you can host the stream, I'll drive yeah. over there. And the good thing about that, where the kingpins agrees, we never have to worry about it rusting. Yeah, fifth wheel's greased too, that's good. Yeah, I try to keep the fifth wheel pretty well greased. So. It's not a bad little truck. Nah. We're just, we're, we're, I'm just going to stick the other trailer inside the gate. Yep, sounds good to me. Because if it's not being stored and going to scrap, it doesn't matter where it is. Let me see the ignition. Uh, they want to hear the horn, so I'll blow yep. it. I don't know if there's uh, enough right now. Yeah, there's enough there. Hang on, we'll set this here for a minute. Get the seat belt on. Always safety first. Yeah. Where's the blinkers? Uh... Oh. Easy. She 
you got a lot of coins. All right, now that we're inside, just waiting for the air up. Let's see, why? Why are you beating on it? Why am I what? Beating on it. Beating on why I was trying to build up air. Oh, okay, that's why. Jamming gears, LOL. Yeah, pretty much. Except he floats them. Yeah, I was floating the whole time. All right, we'll go this way. Uh, oh wow, I just got rained on. Watch your speed. It looks like we're going faster, but we're really not going that fast. Yeah, we ain't, it looks fast, but we're not really going that fast. Can you set on music? Can you name <laughs> it does that. It blew, but now it doesn't. So I got down here and I blew the tire right here. So we're going over here to the old bus barn site. Tires. <laughs> yeah. Easy to do. Where's the trailer? You'll see when we get over the track. Right there. Yep, that. Oh gosh. Let's take that down the road. Yeah. Yep, oh, we're picking up that right there to take the scrap. So, why is he scrapping that? Uh, he just is old and. Out. 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 I don't know if I'll be able to get underneath that. No, you will. Just make sure your airbag's up. They are. I dropped the trailer off yesterday, oh, okay. so. You can get under it. Just when you get under it, get under it. Don't stop because it may roll roll away on you. That is what we're backing up to is a fair ride. They call it the peanut. Uh, it is out of date. Cannot be welded, fixed to meet current code. So it's going to the scrap yard. Uh, scrap it. Horn. Okay. There. There's the horn. How much gas is left in your truck? Oh, uh, a quarter of a tank. Let me see about this, hold on. Hang on, here he goes. Oh, I'm under it. Yeah, just when you hit it, bump it, bump it. Cause you'll knock it off the blocks. There you go. Check it. Yep. Let me just double check my It has no brakes on the trailer. It's that old of a trailer. No brakes? Yeah. That's enough with the horn. Okay, yeah, I agree. That's right, enough with the horn. Drive this thing with no brakes. Wow. Hey, I Here. drove it yesterday with no brakes. I'll drive it if you want me to. It's got the hookup. Yeah. Oh. We'll go ahead and hook up the airlines anyway. All right, but we're coupled. We're coupled. Yeah, obviously, because, I mean, we just dropped those blocks down pretty good. So we need the air to move this thing. I hooked the air up just in case, but here's the problem. When you hit the red lever, the air leaks out somewhere and you lose all your air. Can it I think without the air hooked up? Yeah, it can because uh because William backed the it has no brakes on it, right? Yeah, William backed the brakes off of it to Let's where just it, move it. All right. Um and the uh airline the electrical line doesn't like it's a trailer size electrical line. We're just moving it right down the road. Yeah, pretty much. When we move it, turn on the yellows. All right, let me jack it up. Space saving technique. Put a piece of wood under oh, it. Oh, it has a working landing gear. Yes. Oh, okay. I was just lazy. Be no Hang on, it's hard to try to crank so this. Taking this to the scrap yard, William? I am what tomorrow. Ow. Oh, trust me, you want to jack it up all the way. You know, you have a valid point. Okay, how are we going to get back to the car? What car? We'll drive this truck back to the car. Leave this here. That makes more sense. That's less work. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, but here's the thing. I got to leave the truck here, too, because tomorrow morning I'm taking it over there. 
to lock it, we'll lock it up. Ain't nothing going to happen to it. Okay. So let's leave it here. Well, put the blocks back under it. And, yeah, how are we going to see? Or let me see if the landing gear go all the way down. I don't... When I found it, it had blocks. That's why. We leave the trailer it's here. It's 530 already. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the trailer here. We'll take the truck back to BMT. Yeah. Because I got to put water in it. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and put the blocks under. I'll let you crank it down. Let me just stick these blocks but yeah, this is bag. what's going to scratch. They call it the peanut. I'm not going to walk too far. Oh, okay. Coming. No sense moving. Crap. Come over here and move it. Why? I'm going to give him a quick tour. Where are you going next? Uh, Probably back to the VMT. Yeah. Thank um, ain't nothing gonna happen this, year. this is called the peanut. Oh, and my feet are getting wet. Bad day to wear sandals. Um, no, the other way. Or wait, no, you're right the first time. You were right the first time. This is down. Yeah, that's down. It's a shame this ride couldn't have been restored. It looked like it was fun. Yeah. How much money is this going to bring the bus barn? Um, it's going to be a few hundred bucks at least. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're getting. I'm going to dump the bags. Because believe it or not, this trailer is really, really light. Like, really light. I'm going to have to back up again to get the fence yeah, I got proper clearance. Yesterday, I I had just enough clearance, Andrew, to clear the landing gears. Cool. Let's go. All right, we're going. Hang on. We gotta go lock that gate. Yeah, you gotta do that. Lock the gate. Oh, get up in here. Yes, the truck is a mess. We all do. See it? It is a mess. Let's go back, lock the gate. And go get the car and chill. Oh well, yeah, I gotta leave the truck out back of the museum, so that'll work. Yep, we'll get that Monday. Good. Sharp turn, Andrew. Huh? Where are you going? We're going. Truck to put away. Yeah, we're going to go lock the gate. Yeah, what brand of engine does this truck have? It has a Cummins uh, L10 and Eaton 4 9 speed. Uh, Eaton 4 Road Ranger 9 speed. This truck is great. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I gotta fix that. So, for y'all just tuning in. Yep. Big bump. We just dropped that trailer off. So. That's where our air leak is right here. Yeah, I know. I gotta replace that. I think I got a spare knob. Yeah, I got a new valve and knob for it. Oh, I need a new valve. So, you guys that know about the bus barn, <laughs> while we're here, we'll take a quick tour. The rain has slowed down long enough to do that. Yeah, oh, we got to roll that back over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that ride. Yeah, whoops. Uh, these. These yeah, they're going up on his wall. This looked like a fun ride at one point. Yeah, it flipped you upside down. Now we're flipping it upside down. Yeah, really. So. I'm giving the amusement ride a ride. Pretty much. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Runaway here. ride. Runaway ride, it's coming after me. Don't block the door. I'm just gonna roll it over here. We'll just roll it next to the other one. I'm just rolling it wherever it goes. Ow, 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 ow. Right there. Perfect. Oh, okay. Good enough. Good enough. 
So, Thank what's left? You saw my crazy live stream last week. There's rolling a ride. An amusement ride almost rolled over on me. That yeah. truck will be able to get out. Okay. Well, that truck looks like it's not... I think he's running. I think that truck's seen better days. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. And here's another amusement ride. The guy who owns buildings is big into amusement. Here's our post office bus. Uh, there's a... Here's a mishi mishi. Don't go in the stuff, Andrew. That's his. That's his stuff. Yeah. Back that's here. Like, that's like a kitty ride. Yeah. Two wheel key rides right there. Um, so, right here is our other recovery truck. This is um, the future home of the bus farm. Yeah. It's getting cleaned up, as you can see. That's a recovery one right there. We're in recovery five. This truck's going to get rebuilt. Um, just need to give it some TLC. It's a nifty little truck. It used to be a post office okay. truck. Uh, that bus used to sit at the BMT. Yes, it did. The oh, it is an empty box truck, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, the post office bus did. That's a 1947 Mac right there. Um, so yeah. We could get a grant. We can restore it. I think somebody's gonna fix this truck up. I hope. This is a non-CDL truck. Yeah, anybody can drive that. Yeah, you can drive this one a standard driver's license. Uh, but yeah, there's our 1947 Mac. Yeah, Virginia Museum of Transportation. Um, oh, our AM right here. Made it here. Yep, AM General made it here. This is a Danville bus fishbowl. Um, somebody was nice enough to knock out the back center window. Uh, and that happened at the old site. Of course, there's our trailer. Yes, it says U.S. mail. <laughs> but there's not mail in there, we promise. That's a rare bus. Uh, here's another 47 Mac. This one's going to be our parts bus donor to get the other one. Uh, yeah, those are old buses. This, this one here is an old white bus. This is a rare bus. Uh, yep, this AM General here is a... Is a AM General uh, Fishbowl. Yeah. Um, it was running... And I'm not quite sure what happened to why it stopped running, but we're going to try to get it running again. Yeah, unfortunately, well, okay, it looks like we've had Critter, and yes, we've had somebody vandalize. Um, but yeah, these are all buses that we are planning. See, here's this other fishbowl. Uh, this one. We're planning to get these things. We can get the windshields off this one to get our other new looks working. Yeah, well, we got some windshields coming from Altoona, PA. Um, oh. So. Do they have extra windshields? Yep, and rear windshields. Holy cow, they're giving them to us? Yep. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, here's great. our Williamsburg bus. These are ones that survived the fire that we're actually going to try to restore. I hate to say these buses uh, are so. safer here than they were at the other location. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a bunch of trash here that needs to be cleaned up. Light bulbs. Yeah, light bulbs. I got some. Wow, that has a lot of light bulbs. Uh, but we got a lot to clean up so yep uh let's see here how did the place go up in flames nobody knows that yet what? um how the place went up in flames because I'm gonna stream the here, so don't stream my stream. oh don't stream the stream okay um nobody still really knows i was gonna try to open the back of that look at something See if I can get it open. Come on. Nope, that's pretty pretty stuck. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a motor in it. If there's a motor in it. There's a radiator yeah, in it, streaming. so there's a motor. Okay, we well, didn't stream. You're streaming. Good. It was I'm probably arson. These shoes are not waterproof. I agree. It was probably arson. It looked like to me that two different fires were set: one inside, one outside. It's a shame because uh, we lost some of our best stuff. So. But. Thank God you and me made that decision not to bring the Mac bus back that day. Remember? Yep. Wow, look at this. This is a gasoline engine. We we saved the Mac bus by deciding hey. to leave her up in Virginia truck. Yep. I tried to open this back door to look at the engine. I wanted to look at a certain part to see if the wire pumps were similar. So. That wire pump can be rebuilt. Yeah, I talked to Phantom Parts about getting it rebuilt. They never called me back. Yeah, this trailer's perfect here. Yeah. That so. way there's room over there to walk by. Yeah. Here's his ride. Let's bolt this gate up and go get the Cadillac. Yep. Going back now. I got a little bit of work out today. 
Do you want me to drive on the way back or you want to drive still? Okay, I don't want, huh? Okay. Where's the truck going? Just back at the at VMT? Yeah, it's going back in the back where the Kia is. Because I'll need it again. Kia? Yeah, I got to get that back chaining. All right. And then I can hang with you in the caddy. Cool, that's fine. Um, we just get this, I'm going to lock this an easier way like that. See, that way it's easier to open. Yeah, just make sure nobody can sneak in there. there where's my, where's, do you have my keys? Uh, yes, I do. Because you threw them on the ground. Yeah, no one can get in there. Yeah. Unless they're like a midget. A really small midget. Yeah. It's not safer here than it was the other place. Yeah. Yes, our truck needs a new hood. It's seen better days. But it still runs and drives, so. Can't complain too much on that. This is a good little truck. They, uh, at J, they are not abandoned. They are all work in progress. Yes, they are. All the old buses back there are work in progress. And they hey, are if not you abandoned. want to donate to us to help us out, go to the GoFundMe. Yeah, uh, we'd be glad to have some donations, so. So. Will someone please explain what the hell VMT means? I'm losing yes. my mind over it. Virginia Museum of Transport. Yep, Virginia Museum of Transportation, or better known as the VMT. Okay. What did you hit? Nothing, it's just the clutch grabbing. Oh, clutch grabbing? Oh, okay. Yep, so. Hang on. Yeah, the airbags have to inflate. Oh, hang on. I mean, let me let the airbags inflate. Yeah, let them go. This doesn't have a high idle button, does it? Uh, it did only get broke. Come on, you know these engines are designed to idle with 1,000 RPMs when they're being idle long term. Yeah. I'm at over 100 tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Can you... Oh, turn the radio? Yeah. There's the radio speaker. One needs to be replaced. I think that one over there works. But we do have a radio. But no air conditioning. Oh, yeah. Don't we hit... roll the windows down. Oh, oh, yeah. I guess so. Don't hit the car. Yeah. We're not. We're miles from it. I'll have a high range from Oh, that's why I was grabbing so much. You're still in high range going forward. Uh, yeah, come on. Probably don't need AC up there or does it get really hot? It's hot and humid right now. We're sweating on top of getting rained on. So the other buses will be inside there, but. Oh, I got ability. Ain't no one gonna mess with that trailer. You forget where we are, man. <laughs> We're not in the safest of places. Be clear my way. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Six. Yep, there's an old school bus over there. Old Dodge school bus. Yeah, they come up there loaded. Where is the Cadillac Park? At the Transportation Museum where we're headed back. Reconnect. Oh, there we go. Now we're back. Now we're back. That's what called Bob Cameron. All right, back now. Yeah. Language. Oh, get one more and one. Saying reconnect. Alright, oh, we're going down the steep hill. 
Just hope we ain't got stuff. Why did you pause this stream? I didn't pause it. We just kept losing connection. Yes, the signal downtown does stink. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve Bills USA. <laughs> so here we are back at the Transportation Museum. This is where our temporary home is for some of the buses. We'll show some of the buses when we park the tow truck back. Yeah, that's our temporary home right here. Yeah, that's the location. So. Glitchy, but not frozen anymore. Probably, oh yeah. Here, I can fix it. There you go. We'll I'm just going to reconnect, but I'll be right back. Hi, right, we're back. All yeah, right, I you're just, live. Cool. I just reset my data. It is okay. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad everything's okay. I'm looking at the car that is in the parking lot there. Show them what some bozo did to my car when you were driving it. Oh, yeah. This kind of stunk. I got backed into a yeah, McDonald's of all places. Oof. So, let's see, uh, right there at the front fender, it's pulled out a little bit. Andrew can show you. The um, truster uh, has contacted me. Yeah, what does he say? We're playing telephone tag. Oh, yeah, that's how they usually do. Do you have a key? Or is it fake lock? It should be fake lock. Do you mind I'm holding the gate for you? No, I don't mind. Just, ow, oh, 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 oh. It's going to be bumpy. Little bit of turbulence, fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a rough ride. Now, where do you put the truck? Right there? He's the final one to say that, and he got the seatbelt. <laughs> where are we going to put the truck? Is it elevators? No, this is the transportation museum. We can go by the elevators easy later. Now, yeah. are you putting the truck by the dump truck? Uh, Actually, I was just going to leave it out there because I got to get it tomorrow. I'll stick it behind the, the, the recovery. Yeah, that's fine. Hang on, let me hop out here. You want to hold the camera and answer some questions? Yeah. All right, guys. We are in a Volvo truck, y'all. And we just got done doing some volunteer work for CC&T. And whoever donated the $2, thank you. And I'll stick the camera on the dashboard of the truck and hopefully you can watch me pull it in. Here we go. This truck has only 50,000 miles on it. It was a yard switcher. Here we go in and the phone fell. I'm driving the truck. I'll pick it up in a minute. I don't want to tear up their nice pretty fence. We'll go look at some of the buses now. I'm just pumping the air out of it. Huh? I've got pumped down to practically nothing now there. Alright, just finished draining the tank, I guess. This is a retrofit kit for a hand-operated window, look. See right here, it's a hand-operated window, but they put a power kit on it. There we go, I'm coming out. Is this a truck you have to lock from the outside? Uh, we're not gonna worry about locking. Oh yeah, here's your cell phone, Lawrence. Yeah, I need that. All right, yeah, cause ain't no one getting in here. Uh, there's a pair of vice grips. Can you grab those? Uh, red bucket. On the other side? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't know where I'd be without you. Let me go in there and get that thing for you. Yeah, because we got to move the tow truck. I need that vice grip to start up the tow truck. Oh, okay. Where's the tow truck going? Uh, it's on the other side. Where is it? Out in the grass. 
Let's show them some of the buses here in a minute. Let's see here. Uh. All right, this, this, we're at the bus. This is the makeshift bus museum right now. Uh. Huh? The center of what? Of the fifth wheel would be like what, right here? Ah. Uh, you notice I got swayed back so we can fit underneath the fair ride. Yeah, you can move the move the fifth wheel just to adjust your weight. Yeah. It moves weight to the steer tires. Yeah, but on that, you should have saw how close I was yesterday. So, so where's that going? Where are you going to put it? You're pulling it in there? You can back it in there. All right, well, you can film it then. All right, I'll film it. That, we love this old truck. The, the only thing is, she needs a new clutch. Other than that, she's that's all she needs. A clutch is a maintenance item. Yeah. A clutch is a maintenance item. Well, and I got her stud fixed back here, too. See? Where I broke it off. Heck yeah. Look, let me see. So I got all, all her stuff. All right, so she's legal. Yeah, she's legal to drive on the road. This guy fix the cables next. Uh, you get the keys out of the truck? I got in my pocket. All right, let me get up here and see if I can fix this matter. Yep. All right, and I'll get in the cab, and when you tell me to hit it, I'll hit it. All right, hang on. Let me get it hooked up. I'm not going to do nothing except just find which key does it. Okay. Watch your hand. I'm opening the door. We're going to move this truck down. Lawrence is going to show me moving it. <clears throat> We're not going to start until he gives the get-go. All right. Well, when I find the key, I'll start it. It's not that one. I know it's not that one. I think it's this one. Let's see if this one starts the engine. Nope. We'll find it, guys. Just bear with us. We got a bunch of keys to go through here. Let's see if it's this one. Doesn't even fit the ignition. I'll start at the... It's not that key. It's not a padlock key. Maybe it's this one. Up oh, here we go. Fire in the hole. Let me make sure I'm in neutral first. Here we go. Give it There you go. Here, let me have the camera. I'll show them up here what it's like. Yep. It's alive. She don't smoke a lot. Here, no, she's old. So, and yes, we have a fire horn. And don't worry, when it builds up uh, some air, we'll let y'all hear it. I'm coming down. Ugh. You can film them. <laughs> Just back it in between the buses. Yeah, back it up to the ABW. Yeah. 1973 Diamond Rio tow truck. Nickname Frankie or long term uh, Frankenstein. Looks like a Frankenstein truck a little bit. Turn the fast idle on. Yeah, that has no fast idle. <laughs> uh, I wish it did. So, of course, here's our buses, the ones that are running. Uh, it's a slow transition to move to the new place. Uh, turn the bus. So, uh, we are slowly moving stuff over there. Yep, here he comes. What happened to the old bus museum? Oh, uh, it got demolished. If you look back in the other live stream or the one that we did earlier, uh, where we were picking up the amusement ride, that used to be the bus museum. They had to tear the building down. So, yes, she is a rough looking truck, but she is a good truck. Hopefully I'll get some time to start doing restoration on her.
Yeah, rest in peace with the old bus barn. That's right. I miss a lot of those buses we had. Uh, looking back on, I've been with the bus barn for eight years now. Uh, hard to believe, but it's been that long. And we lost quite a few good buses. So. Hang on, let me. Yeah. All right, go ahead, shut her off. Grab the uh, vice grip when you come down. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love this truck. Once we get a clutch in her, she'll be really good. Huh? Once we put a clutch in her, she'll be really good. Our battery disconnected. All right. Just throw the uh, or just let me have the vice grips, I guess. Yeah. Throw them there back in go. that other truck. We're so. done. Let's show off some. Let's show off some of the buses now. Here, I'll let you take over. All right. You there can you explain go. what we're looking at here in a minute. Uh, I guess so. Let's show them our best buses first. <laughs> well. What do you call best? Because they all have a little bit of fire damage. <laughs> Stay. This one doesn't, does it? Yeah, the pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, she survived. Yeah, she survived. Pumpkin survived with no yeah. fire damage. Thank you, young explorer. This one, like I said, we're lucky to still have this one. Yeah. These cracks are from heat. Yeah, Amber's hitting the windshield, cracking them. Yeah, we are. In Pennsylvania, they just stopped running their fish bowls as of Friday in Revenue Service. They're going to give us windshields for our bus, which is great. And they're giving us a bus, maybe. Yes. Uh, so, like I said, the fire may have set us back, but if anything, it's made us stronger. Yeah. We call this one the Great Pumpkin. If y'all want to see inside a vintage bus, Mike honked when he passed. I'm going to show him inside. Well, tell Mike to come join us. Mike, come down here. You can get your ass down here. Let's see. Look, look at this. Um... This is a GM new look. This is a very rare bus. Explain why this bus is so rare, Lawrence. Well, it's uh, only a few 30 foots ever made. It's a baby fishbowl. Yeah, and uh, actually what's unique quite about this bus is that it has plastic seats, not your conventional fishing seats. Yeah, they can't be vandalized. Yep, um, so some of the anti-vandal Technology. Yeah, there's some water in the seat back there, but other than that, this people are saying this bus appears to be in mint condition. Yep, and uh, we have an updated Thermo King unit in it. I have to give a big shout out to Thermo King. So we do have working air conditioning. Yes, and these guys worked their butts off to make this look like part of the bus. They really did. I mean, they kept the looks of it and everything. They just upgraded. I donated the, the new horn button. Yep. Which it's been around yeah i donated that it doesn't blow because the battery's not hooked up but like i said this is inside a vintage we'll show them the ab and w that bus is nice uh, this is inside a vintage bus yep. this is what americans use this is one of the most iconic american vehicles ever we gotta show them this one this one still has dc metro signage in it Yep, well, it was a DC Metro bus. This bus ran in revenue service all the way up to the year 2000, right? Uh, I think 2000, 2002, maybe? This is an old DC Metro bus. And look, look how good condition we've got her. I mean, so this vandalism is actually was actually done when the bus was in revenue service. Yeah. But yeah, this bus was in revenue service. See, there's the old rules up there. They see it's it's an old metro bus. Look, she needs your help to stay clean. Oh yeah. But yeah, like I said, this bus, believe it or not, how long did it run in service from? Uh, 1962. It originally ran for uh, Arlington, Beckerkopf, and Washington A, B, and W. Uh, from 62, I think, to the 70s, and then the 70s, Lamada which is the big DC company, or Metro Bus, as a lot of people know it in DC. Uh, took it over, painted it, added a number on to the end, of, or at the beginning of it, and it stayed there till about 2000, 2002. So this bus ran in service for 40 years. Yep. This bus served the Washington DC area for 40 
years, y'all. In its early stages, it served Alexandria and Brock, uh, And the, like I said, this this yeah, this bus still runs. It's, yes, it does. It has an air starter. Yeah, I don't think it'll start because we don't have air pressure. But sometime we'll come it, down. It here. should. What? Uh, it should start. If you put the battery on it, because I just had it running earlier. All right, go ahead and hook the battery. We'll start it up. For, yeah. I mean, if you want to, we don't have to if you don't want to. I don't know. I think there's going to have to be some uh, money donated to Andrew for me to do that. Yeah, because it requires fuel to do yeah, this. Yeah, it does. Uh, but let's... But the money go to Andrew personally, because Andrew could use some help. Let's see here. We're not as bad shape as the Elevators Museum. Ugh. All right, let's shut this door. Yeah, hang on. Oh, can Mike's going to come down here. Oh, okay. Come on down. Come on down, Mike. Uh, the, gate's open. the gate's open. Come in the back gate. Just drive down That's here. West End. Yeah. Come down to the west end of the VMT, come through the employee gate, and you'll see all parked down here by the buses, and you can come down here. I mean, we are giving you permission to come on the property so you're not trespassing. Yeah, um, yeah he's a friend of the museum. So, yeah, Mike, let me show him the entrance. Mike, see that entrance down there? Uh, like I said, the gate is closed, but you can reach in and open the gate and come on in. For all you train lovers that live up near... West hey, I, br I brought this locomotive here. Yes, you did. I was on the job that brought this locomotive here. Yep. Uh, I actually got to ride in this lo. I got to ride in this locomotive. That they can do? Yep. Remember, that's the first time I ever chased a train because I wanted to see what the... I'm going to get up in here. Be careful, it's not ours anymore. Oh, I know it's not ours anymore, but still, like I said, this is the locomotive here, y'all. Oh look, they 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 put a, they put a cheap lock on it. Oh. That wasn't on it before, but yeah, I have ridden in this locomotive before. Yeah, don't you have video of it somewhere? Uh, yeah, I do, but I can't put it on YouTube because you know. Oh, yeah. The uh, I mean, I was technically at work. I didn't shoot the video; somebody else did. Now I got to get down off this thing. But yeah, there it is. This used to be up at Glenlyn. He's coming down here. Like I said, you can open the gate, Mike, and come. Is yeah, that you? Go. Where is he? All right, come on in. We may have to help him open the gate. If he can, if he can't figure out how to get the gate open, we'll help him. <laughs> you can open the gate. Just make sure he closes it behind you when you come in. Yeah, because we're technically after hours now. Yeah, we're after hours. Oh, he's parking there. Oh, that gate's not open. That gate's wait. Uh, what? Can you get in? No, we can't. Not that gate. You can't get. Uh, you're gonna have to come in the other gate, Mike. Other gate. You're gonna have to come in the other gate. The other gate. If you're watching, come to that gate. Yeah. He's turning around. He's back. Yeah. We'll let you. Mike's gonna join our live stream. Has he ever been down here before? Hmm? Mike's never seen our stuff, has he? Uh, yeah, he has. He's seen some of it. Got yeah, new front tires on this truck too. Yeah, I'm gonna go open the gate for him. Ugh. <clears throat> there he is right there. We're going to open the gate for him. Hey, let's come in here and park. Turn around and come in here and park. Yeah, turn your truck around. You can drive in here, Mike. We'll just let you drive in here and park down here by the buses. You can drive your truck in here, Mike, if you want. It's all right. Let him do what he wants to do. All right, we'll just be here for a little bit anyway. Yeah, we'll chill here for a little bit. Come here. Yep. This is a nice new gate that we have. There we go, it's locked. Yeah, you're fine there. Hey Mike, how you doing? You're joining in another live stream. Feel free to take all the photos and videos you want down here. We have Mike back with us. We all know who this is. It's Mike. Yeah. So yeah, this is, uh, I always like it when people join streams. It's nice to have friends along. 
Live streams are more exciting when you add people. Mm -hmm. How much chasing training? That's how my day started chasing the 911 locomotive. Oh, it through. came through? Where yeah. is it? It's going went north. Do you have any pictures of it? Yes, sir. Let's show them. Uh, All right, we're going to look at Mike's pictures of the 911 once he gets them up. He has a nice camera, by the way, y'all. I wish I had a camera like this. All right, y'all. Look at that. There's the NS 911, y'all. Crossing the Natural Bridge Station. That's awesome. Really so yeah, this he's a he's a railroad. I don't like to call them rail fans. I like to call them railroad enthusiasts. Train nut. He's a railroad enthusiast. So what what is basically called is a rail foma. It's coming in just before Buck County. Oh, somebody's. That's nice. Somebody's. Oh, that's the old one. That's the rare one. I'll tell you, I got to run an SD60 the other day, before I went to St. Okay, Louis. I got to run an old SD60 with no gauges or anything. It was all analog. I was so busy chasing, I didn't realize it wasn't the 911. It was the one for the first that, responders. That's even better. But yeah, like I said, everyone said hi to you, Mike. Hello. So yeah, like I said, you never know what's going to happen on these live streams. We drive trucks. We have train enthusiasts come. We have this weirdo. We have that weirdo in St. Louis. Jason. Jacob, I like, I like that, we never know what's going to happen on a live stream. This is our latest donation right here. Yep. We're about to have a fishbowl donated from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Yeah. We're excited about that. They just, they just, yeah, they're two different. <laughs> two different angles. You know why? Glare. Glare. Oh, and it helps. Green. All that too, it helps with the rain too. Have you been in any of our old buses? No. Well, come, you know, come on. Yeah. It's hands on. Check them out. Look, touch, whatever. We're one of those museums where we encourage looking and touching. Oh, no, I'm first out? Really? I just got a note saying I'm first out. Ugh. I'm going to get called to work in a little while. You may have to... Yeah, you know, I better leave my phone on because they're going to call me to work. I need to like I need to get another couple round trips in before I go on rest days though, so I need the money. This is from the fire. This is fire damage. Yeah, there was a metal first guy, but it looks more like handle damage. Nope, this is a metal beam going through there. This is fire damage. I haven't seen no nothing like melted around now. I see the spark lights are melted. Yep. First looked at it, thought some vandals. We have had vandals, but all the damage you're going to see on these buses is from the fire. I hope I get called out tonight. You saw us dropping it? You can climb up in it. You're welcome to look yeah, at it. I saw you the other day in the pink ski truck. <laughs> Those y'all, I'm sorry I'm not watching the chat right now while I'm entertaining visitors. Yeah, I had to do some moderating earlier. Yeah. Who, who, yeah. Ah, oh, snap on. I owe those guys $1,800. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay him off and take a break. 1800 was a lot. Mike is enjoying this vintage truck. I just had this running here. Yep. Jason is in St. Louis right now. We're in Virginia. People are asking where Jason is. <laughs> Jason will come to Roanoke sometime. I'm gonna get him out here within the next year, and Jason will get to experience all these antique vehicles. He'll be fascinated by them. Mixing a 20 year old with old technology. <laughs> These trucks are low miles because they were all local. Yeah, they ran local stuff. It drives good though. Yeah, that's a mile. Yeah, you turn the wheel one full evolution, you barely make the turn. Jason is 18 right now. By the time he gets out here, he'll be 19 probably. I don't know what happened. I wasn't here. Hmm. 
We're draining air tanks on this old truck. For those of y'all that wonder what we're doing, we're just bleeding off the air system. We are getting we are getting moisture out of the air brake system. Split rims off the nose widowmakers. Yeah, widowmakers. I had to pull with those. What? Widowmaker Split really why they're dangerous? Yeah, they fall off, they kill you. Just mess with dating wheels when they're split rims, thankfully. Yeah. These right here. If that blows off, it'll kill you. The back ones aren't split rims. Those are Dayton. Yeah, they're, just, they're one solid piece. But changed some of them a long time ago. This bus has, uh, the windshield got cracked by the heat of the fire. Embers were hitting it. This, uh, was this 1962? Yeah. GM New Look Bus. One of these days when we get a bus out, uh, we'll let you know you can come along with. If you want. I've seen Bev driving them before. Yeah, he took one out today for an event. Not lately, but in the past when he's been stuck going on. What do you think of this, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, you'll get to when you climb in our newest bus, you'll see a big difference. Now, what year is this one? 1973. 1973. This is a rare bus. It's a baby fish bowl. It's a 30 foot. It's got the Toraflow engine, a gas engine that they convert diesel. Cadillac used them. Oldsmobile used them. Yeah, the, the, like I so said, they had a lot of trouble with those V8s because the, the, they were gas engines. They weren't just... Well, they yeah, and that's what this has. Yeah, it's got four four diesel. Um, we had a number four that didn't get converted yet. We started that thing up one day and it started running away on us. Was it gas or diesel? It was gas. Carbureted, right? Yeah. Diesel was the one that didn't have a gas I mean, runner. Like it was not, but it was... Yeah, before they put the kid on it. How'd you get it put out? Nothing out <laughs> Threw stuff in the air line, <laughs> pulled the fuel line. Yeah, a diesel engine runs away when it starts running on its own oil. It's a diesel engine can run on its own oil. I had one happen to me at Adams one time. I had one happen to me at Abbott. One ran away, called oh, Cat. Scared me half to death. What, did you spray a fire extinguisher in it? Uh, three rags in it. In the air intake? Yep. That'll, that'll, that'll kill it. This was a little three cylinder that runs a reef rip. Changed the fuel shut off now when the pin got cocked and I fired it up and it took off and did, it was rolling black smoke like a. Did it destroy the engine or did no, you all get stopped? I the ladder and pulled the air cleaner out and stuck my fist in it. Yeah. <laughs> Good way to lose your hand. Not really. It was a little three cylinder engine. Yeah, it was probably was no bigger than the fist. Let, let's show him a modern bus. And, and, let's show him our latest bus. What, uh, what, is the, what year is this one up here? 2000. So technically, it's not our newest bus. It's our second newest one. Technically, yeah. But still, it's a modern bus. This one, this is modern. You'll see a big difference in the instrument cluster. Oh, this one, I, I got to open the door because it's still got air. This one holds air. That one holds, that one holds air. It was just running earlier. That's why. Lot more switches. Yep. More gauges. This is a 2000 bus. Still got 95 pounds of air. Yep, it holds air better. All our old buses leak. <laughs> Maybe some of the new ones starts to leak. Yeah. Yeah, this looks just like anything you'd ride today. Run it or just get some new buses. I've seen some running down the road and even have stickers on them yet. Yep. Yep. Oh, He's got some new Gillig's. This is an Orion what? Four? Five. Orion five is what this bus is. 
Who's that? Charles. If he even looks this way. Bye, this. All right, now we'll shut the door. Y'all can watch the door close. Uh, I hope so. I hope so too. These are a lot of keys for you boys. I have some keys in my pocket. Hey, who's that? We're live streaming. <laughs> yeah, you can ask Lawrence a question. Ask the question, I'll relate. Hey, how you doing? What? Which one? Doug Thompson? Okay. Yeah, take pictures of anything you want. So there's that locomotive down there you can take a picture of too. I actually moved that locomotive here. I got called off the extra board to move it here a few years ago. Yeah, I got all sorts of pictures of it. I went down to Glen Lynn. I was the, I was the conductor on it. I got to ride with the plant employee to get that locomotive. Huh? Yeah. I got to ride. I, I, I was involved in moving that here. Make sure you get some pictures of that locomotive. Yeah, it runs. They use it. That locomotive. I told him he needed to see that locomotive. Yep, we're at the Virginia Museum of Transport, y'all. After hours. The only reason we're here, we volunteer. It's a great cause. Commonwealth Coach and VMT. I hope I don't get called out to work soon. So I need to move all my stuff to my storage bin. Oh, uh, it's one of those. Yeah, they're getting rid of them. Why? I don't know. They have a lot of trouble out of them. Oh, really? Lawrence drives a Kia. Yeah, I drive a blue Kia Forte. It's parked around back. Don't let me forget it. And we can go to the market parking garage later. We gotta take pictures of anything you want. You know, the first time I ever chased the train, because Andrew bringing these back, this and that Virginia Tech curve. Yep, I was actually involved in getting these here. I was the conductor on the job. There's a steam engine. They're all steaming. I got <laughs> Excuse me. This airplane doesn't run, does it? There's where the motor, they, 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 they took the motor out of it, didn't they? Yeah, they took the motor out of it. The wing is right there. Where's the motor? I have no clue. Is this going to be a static exhibit or are they going to make it to where it can run? This is going to be a static exhibit. I don't think a transportation museum needs a uh, National Guard jet running around. <laughs> I mean, just, just, just for the historical oh, purpose, just so they can crank it up every now and then and just. Uh, Yeah, it probably uses a lot of fuel to crank this thing up. And whoever took it apart? That's their sockets. I thought they were sockets, so not sockets. Some kind of yeah. We got a train going by over here, it sounds like. Yeah, I have to move that over here. Now they're they're gonna put it back, aren't they? Yeah, they went through this week and picked out what they want to put back. I hadn't heard what was going on with it. There's a train. I love running those engines. They load up so quick. They're they're loud as can be, but they load up quick. Yeah, they get that old two stroke. Those rebuilds. I can hear them at my house. Got an old Detroit diesel, 16 cylinder. If Wizzy was watching this, I would tell her to come get her a caboose. She won't take a boost. Huh? She doesn't want to take a boost. Does or does it does. There goes a hopper train into the yard. It's going to Bluefield. But 
about that cab? No, That's what I'm talking about, that cab. Yeah. Look, there goes a plane. You can see an airplane landing. I think we should hit the road here in a minute because I want to try to move that stuff to my storage bin before I get called to work on. I'm, I'm junking up his living room. It's a bunch of elevator crap. I got the buttons out of the 707 building downtown. Oh, so you did get them. Oh, he said that's what you got. They were in your, they're in your apartment. Jay, I took them to St. Louis because Jason restored one of them for me. He wired it up and it lights up now. I say you can. I, I gave you the car top station from that. It came out of that building right there. Yeah, I gave you one from the Church Avenue garage as well. I'll ask Jay, Jason wired his up. He's got. I, I think I'll ask him what voltage he wired it up to. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask Jason. I'll talk to Jason tonight because he wired his up. And he's like, say he wired my pan. Uh, like I said, I, I, I run most of my stuff off. I mean, of course, I put the LEDs in them. Well, like I said, well, we'll I'll, I'll ask Jason because he successfully wired his up with the original stuff. It was either it was either six or nine. I don't remember. Let's get out of this rain. Yeah, I think about that. Where are you heading, Mike? I don't know. So we're just heading over the house to load up my crap to take to the storage bin. So yeah, we got everything safe and secure down here at CC and T and the VMT. We moved that. We got today was a productive day. We moved that trailer. That was something that needed to be done. Yeah. It's been needed to be done for a while because where was it being kept? Here. So we got it out of here and it's back at the our new bus. Hey Brandon, how you doing? I hope you're enjoying your clock. Did you see the clock giveaway? Yeah. Me and Jason did. Huh? Everyone's thanking us for the tour. I'll tell you, if y'all ever come to Roanoke, you can schedule an appointment and you can come see this stuff. Yeah. We are open to the public. You just have to schedule an appointment so one of us can show you. Yeah, just because we can get you in free. Yeah, well, we yeah, we'll get you in for free too. But we, we accept donations because we have to restore our, but we're, we, we, like I said, we're still recovering from the fire. Where's your Kia? Around back of the museum. Oh, it's outside the gate? Yeah. All right, we'll open the gate so he can get out. Yeah. Tell you what, uh, it's been a long day. Yeah, it's time, it's time to chill. It's time to chill. I'll take you to get your Kia and then I'll meet you at the house. All right. Let me let him out. Cool. Take some pictures of it when you take it to Seattle. All right, we gotta lock this back up. Hey, make sure my green clipboard is in her cabinet. Where would it be in the Cadillac? It'll be in the classroom Okay. Say bye to Mike, everybody. Bye, Mike. Good seeing you. He's awesome. Now we'll lock up here. All right, so we had a productive day today at Commonwealth Coach and Trolley. See, we're still alive. We're still making stuff happen. We're trying to rebuild. Go ahead and go your bag and make the clipboards in there. I don't know why. All right, I got my keys. Everyone said bye to Mike. There goes Mike down there. Mike is awesome. He's always nice to have on these streams. Now we're going to go to the Cadillac, and then we're going to end this stream here in a minute later on not today but we'll do i'm going to do a full live elevate tour of all the parking garage elevators in roanoke in 2018 so y'all can see an update on the elevators that have been modded we will do a full elevate tour but i gotta wait until cool what do you need a local paper about tell us i gotta do a full elevate tour of every parking garage in roanoke yeah i'll go in the car park it's not city owned though, but uh, excuse me. 
Yep, it's in there. Yes. All right, we're going to take us a drive, and we're going to end the stream here in a little bit, and I hope I saw some Diet Coke left. Let me set this. It smells like moisture in here. Let me go ahead and see if my air conditioner will come on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. There, I honked the horn. And the AC is not going to work. Yes, it is. Let me shut the door so I can enjoy this air conditioning. While it's working, it'll work for a little bit. And then it'll cut off. Let me turn the temperature down to 60. Yeah, I think it's low on Freon because right now it's blowing out ice cold air. But Mike, we always enjoy him. Mike is one of those people, he's just awesome, no matter how you look at it. He's awesome. So I'll see you at home. I'll see you at home. Oh yeah, I'll ride you. I ain't gonna make you walk. Mike is one of those people, he's just cool. I mean, I don't care how you look at it, Mike is cool. He's a, he's always fun to have on for Pinkski. Yeah, he's always fun to have on these streams. Oh, well, maybe when we go down to your elevator museum later. Yeah, I got catch up with us. I got to move all that crap. Oh yeah, put my seatbelt on. I'm glad someone said that. Don't you just love the smell of old carbureted gasoline engines? Mm hmm. Mm, smells so good. Where's your Kia? around back you oh so i have to go out and then in <laughs> all right we are in beautiful downtown roanoke yeah i'm thirsty i am too we'll go to the house chill for a little bit then i'll move my crap and we'll get something to drink yeah. that person just ran the red light yeah, okay yep. they're turning they of course, do. I've run some red lights, too, so. Yep, that's the Roanoke Times. They interviewed me years ago. Diesel Lucy's actually in my pocket, believe it or not. Pop by the Market Parking Garage. Would you mind a five-minute diversion, Lawrence? I don't mind. They want to see the elevator at the Market Garage, so I think we can do that for them. Yeah. We can park right out in front of it and we'll ride the elevator. I ain't ridden that thing in ages. I mean, I don't know how it's doing. Yeah, Car so park is going to, the elevator's going to be turned off on the weekend. Are you for real? They turn off the elevator to prevent people from sleeping in it. Wow. It's a, that, that garage is private. It's actually the Roanoke Station garage now. They changed the name. Uh, I can't get to the garage. I have to go down a few blocks because it's a one-way street. Church Avenue's one way up here, right? I have to go past First Street to make a left. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's anything going on there. Okay. What's going on? I don't know, some kind of event. That's all. Street closed to three traffic. I, I think I can make a left yeah, turn on Church up here. Campbell. Uh, I think, I don't know if I can make a left turn here. I th yeah, you can turn left here on Campbell. Yeah. I, I mean, the market garage is on Church. Yeah, you you gotta go down to Jefferson, take a right on Jefferson. All right, guys, just for y'all, we are going to ride the Market Parking Garage elevator. I really want to do this. <laughs> well, while we're down here, might as well stop out of shop and get something to drink. Yeah, we'll do. We'll go in the subway and get sodas. Yeah, everyone's going crazy. They want to see it, so we'll do it for them. <laughs> There's a Kia Soul. I like that little Kia Soul. I really do. I mean, like I said, I mean, I like yours, Lawrence. I think I like yours better because yours have the cool lights and speakers. The new one doesn't have that. No. Your car was cooler than the one I rented. This is my mother-in-law's. I'm very gracious that she lets me use it from time to time. I buy that car from her. I like it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm on the list to buy it next. You got the inside. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, it, it was a nice car. And for what, what it is, is it's... Oh, uh, they're doing some work down here. 
No turn on red. Yeah. What is going on downtown that all the parking spaces are taken? Mm. Okay, it's going green. Oh, that's like a moped. That's a moped with a muffler taken off. Oh, let's see here. I can't fit there. My big old caddy can't fit there. Yeah. Actually, probably could, but get off the page. Let's see if there's that any. Turn left on. Right on. Yeah, left on. Good. That side's one way. I guess it's good that Roanoke is doing this stuff to attract people to visit our town. You know what I mean? People come and spend money in our city and we get tax revenue off it. Well, we'll try to go in the market garage if we can find a parking place here. I don't want to go too far. I, I can park at the hotel loading real quick. We can do this real quick. Let's see here. Loading and unload. We're just going to go in here and ride the elevator and then we'll come. Let's see here. We got somebody who works at the hotel sitting out there smoking. Mm. Actually, if you want to weigh out here in the car, I'll just take the elevator real quick. Okay. All right, guys, I'll show you all the elevator really quick because we're parked in the no parking zone. Uh, Andrew, you're so close to camp. Can you get your trunk open? Uh, we'll be out of here in about two minutes. Okay. All right, y'all, we're going to ride the elevator. We have to make this quick because I'm in a no parking zone. No time. All right, guys, here we go. Y'all are getting to see the elevator from Mark Garage. I'm not going to ring the alarm. This is occupied right now. This is a great elevator. Still got two more floors. This elevator runs amazing. We're not gonna ride the other one right now because we're illegally parked, but there's the hotel. Yeah, this is the world's best over impulse. Very smooth. They need to replace some of these bulbs. Four works. Three works. Two doesn't. Yep, we're still streaming. One works. Let's see if ground works. And here we are. Now we gotta go move the car because we're parked in an opening zone. See, there's the car. They rode the elevator for y'all. All right, here we go. They're all excited. They got to see the elevator. So now we're gonna head over. I'll tell you, we just stop by Mickey D's and grab some dollar teasers. All right, we'll go in there. How's that sound? We'll go in there for a minute. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have people that care. They're telling me to put my seatbelt on. So yeah, my seatbelt is on. I told you to put it on in the truck. Yeah. I never wore seatbelt when I drove commercial vehicle. It's yeah. probably a bad idea though. It is a very bad idea. All right, they want, uh, y'all want to see out front? Here, I'll show y'all out front. That apartment building, I like the way they built it. It looks old, but it's not. Wow, and we got a green light. These guys paid my last ticket, and they also paid Jason Lock the keys in the Kia, and we had to pay Locksmith 75 bucks. Are you for real? To come Why in. Why did y'all lock it in an automatic locking bike? Well, what happens, apparently Kias, they auto lock after a while. 
and he left the key in the trunk. Oh. And it locked, and we had to get a locksmith out there. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, but the I got the the uh, super chat. The people super chatted it. Oh, Roanoke's a good town. Come visit, y'all. Y'all get to see yeah, the elevator. Y'all get to see the elevator museum, the bus museum, BMT, Mill Mountain. We have a lot of attractions in this town. Oh yeah. I mean, like I said, it's it's not as good as St. Louis. I mean, as far as attractions, actually, we're good in our own way. I mean, St. Louis has good attractions. Roanoke has good attractions. St. Louis doesn't have a mountain that overlooks downtown. Yeah, that's one place that me and you're going to have to go to is St. Louis. I've never been there. Yeah, you'll have to come with me while I go visit Jason sometime. There you go. Because I go, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be going out there about two or three times a year because, I mean, Jason and Jacob are two of my best friends apart from you. Well, when's the next time you're going out there? Not sure yet. Well, give me a date so I can start saving up. But yeah, St. Louis is a neat town. It was a great, it was a great place to grow up. I'll tell you, I like what they're doing in St. Louis, though. They're doing the same thing they did in downtown Rona. What? All these old abandoned buildings are being converted into apartments, and people are moving back into downtown, and the crime rate is going down. Well, that's good. Because St. Louis used to be a very high crime city. It still is, but it's not as bad as it used to be. I don't even know if it's on the top 10 most dangerous cities anymore. It used to be the most dangerous city in the country, St. Louis. I think it's... Uh, it used to be a toss-up between St. Louis, Washington, D.C., and Detroit as far as most dangerous cities. Let's go inside and sit down for a minute in the air conditioning. Watch your arm. I'm putting the windows up. Yeah, this truck turned out really good. It did. We're just gonna, I'm just going to get a couple drinks. Yeah, if Wart calls, let's see, I'm going to bring this phone just in case Wart calls. Because there's a good chance I'll get called to work in a little while, which is good in some ways, but bad in others. Uh, I, wanted to, I, I wanted to get out tomorrow morning, but I need the money. So I'm not going to turn down work. So yeah, it was well worth it. I'm glad y'all got to see the market garage elevator. But anyway, we're going to McDonald's now. So, yeah, people are tapering off anyway. So we're going to end this stream. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. And we will be on later on tonight. Bye, guys. So, bye, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Toodaloo.